everybody, Austin with Pacific Northwest Gamer, and we are in White Rock, Canada, and we're going to be showing you tabletops, crepes, and games, so let's go inside and take a look. So as you come in, uh, it's a smaller establishment, there's about eight tables here, um, and they have a selection of board games that you can choose from to pick out and play. Right now their collection is about 150 plus games available for you to check out and play. There's a $5 cover to come in and play, but that can be reduced down to $2 if you buy some food. They also have, of course, crates. So, quite a big menu up here of all crates. They also have flatbread, sandwiches, wraps, beer, and other drinks here for you to enjoy. And even more drink selections over here. And then finally, there's even more board game selections for you to enjoy. So at this point, we're going to hang out here for a little while, order some food, show you what that's going to be like, and play some games with some friends who are locals here in the Vancouver area. So we just got our food, and uh, we all picked delicious crepes, obviously. They have great other options here, but we all wanted to try the crepes. I ended up going with a strawberry cheesecake and graham cracker. Crepe, and this is probably the best crepe I've ever had in my life, though I haven't had many crepes in France, so it's hard to compare to that. I've only had one in France, and it was pretty good, but this is this is phenomenal. Valentina, what did you choose? Um, mine has feta and spinach and mushrooms and some uh, chicken. Um, it's one of their savory crepes. Very, very savory. Very savory. Um, and it comes with a little side type thing. Um, yeah, it's very, very good. Um, and finally, Blair, what did you get? I went for uh, breakfast with the well, eggs. I skipped a little bit of coffee here too. Mm -hmm. Not going to pass up an opportunity to have breakfast. It's actually really good. So, food is great. So now you know. Crepes here are the bomb. So we just finished playing a game of Combra, and uh, Blair had never played it, and Nick had never played it, and what were your guys' no general thoughts? Yeah. I played it, it was a bit chaotic to learn, lots of stuff, and lots of pieces going on, but once, once I started playing it made more sense. All of the symbols and the colors were easy to interpret. Uh, I would definitely want to play it a couple more times before I Really got a on the game, but overall, it's a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah, it's a funny day when you don't have any other plans. Pump <laughs> out a few games. Totally. Uh, I think Plumber is a great game in which I follow my traditional arc of when I play a new heavy hero, namely expending all my mental energy for the whole day trying to learn the game, followed by thinking that I kind of understand the game and that I'm doing pretty well, and then concluded by losing horribly in in-game scoring. <laughs> so, yeah, right on the mark. And, um, I can't even talk anymore, so there we go. I'll stop there. So that's pretty great, and uh, as always, uh, the person who's never lost this game, still reigning champ, how does it feel? Good. Good. Yeah. So she wins every time we play this game, but <laughs> it's still a blast to play it. So we still keep playing it. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hey everybody, back at my place. Just want to give you a quick kind of wrap up to our trip to Tabletop Crepes and Games. We had so much fun. Great food, great location, a little bit on the smaller side. So if you want to get a table there, show up earlier, or um, you might not get a spot because there's only a few tables. A good amount of games for you to check out and play, but you can always bring your own. The food was fantastic. Everything we tried was just delicious. And it's a great little area right near the water, right across the border for people coming up from the Seattle area like me. Overall, great spot. I highly suggest you go check it out. Wanna give a quick shout out to Blair for meeting up with us, playing some games. It's always good to see you, thank you. And also a big shout out to Nick. Thank you so much for hosting us and hanging out with us all day. We had a great time. 
Thank you for watching my video. I hope this gives you a better idea of what you're going into if you want to go visit. And also, if you're in that area, to know more of what's around you. So go check it out. Thank you, Tabletop Crepes and Games, for letting me come shoot there. And if you like this video, please subscribe and click the like button. I'm going to keep putting out more content like this. Thank you.